we're saying that what Steve has done at Apple is probably, it's certainly the best performance of a CEO in the world in 50 years and maybe even 100 years. Because not only did he do this once, he did this twice. We all, we, we've all benefited by that extraordinary innovation. Uh, well, I say that as a, as a very proud uh, board member, a uh, former board member. And I think that um, what's interesting about Apple is that they are the rare company that can move to the new platform and get it right. And the lesson to all of us is that there's going to be an opportunity for each of us to do that in our business at some point. Now, I doubt, I would certainly not be able to do it as well as he did, as, as they did, but, but it's possible to sort of model that and say, okay, what's that new brilliant thing that if I could just do my own startup and I didn't have all this history and so forth, what would it be? Then figure out a way to take the current company and get it there. It's important as a leader of your company to love the company you're in. So you don't want to spend your time saying, oh, you know, I hate my company. Well, that's terrible leadership. What you want to do is figure out a way to lead it well, why do you think Steve Ballmer has struggled so much? Obviously, they had the, win, you know, they tried to make Windows, Windows Mobile, they tried to have this Windows everywhere philosophy, and all the Windows apps on the phones and the tablets, and they all imploded. What, 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 what where did Steve really, where did the two, where did the two Steve's differ in their philosophy? They've both been in the industry approximately the same amount of time. Well, there's differences in ability. Um, <laughs> Right? But let's not talk about the people. Let's talk about let's not. Let's talk about the people. If you would go back and talk about the people, what would you say? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk about the corporate.